بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ایم بی اے میتھمیٹیکل سوسائٹی سو ناظرین آج کی اس ویڈیو میں ہم بات کریں گے ایکسپوننشل فنکشن کے بارے میں کہ ایکسپوننشل فنکشن کیا ہے اس کی جنرل ٹرم اور اس کی سٹینڈرڈ فارم کیا ہے اور ہم ایکسپوننشل فنکشنز کے گراف کے بارے میں بھی بات کریں گے ایکسپوننشل فنکشن کے گراف کن کوارڈرنٹس میں لائے کرتے ہیں سو آج کا ہمارا ٹاپک ہے دا ٹرم ایکسپوننشل فنکشن ڈیفینیشن اے فنکشن ان وچ دا ویریبل اپیئرز ایز این ایکسپوننٹ of a constant is called exponential function ایسا function جس میں variable power کی form میں آ رہا ہو اسے ہم exponential function کہتے ہیں اور یہ variable کسی constant کی power میں آئے گا for example 2 raise to power x 3 raise to power y 2 multiply by 9 raise to power x so ایسے function کو ہم exponential function کہتے ہیں جس میں variable کسی constant کی power میں آ رہا ہو A function in which a variable appears as an exponent or power of a constant is called exponential function. An exponential function with variable x is a function of the form of f of x is equal to a multiplied by b raised to power x where a is a constant, b is a base and x is an exponent not that where a is not equal to 0 b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1 and the exponent must be a variable Examples of exponential function f of x is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 raised to power x f of x is equal to 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 2 raised to power x f of x is equal to 0 0.73 raised to power x f of x is equal to 2.08764 multiplied by 5.3324 raised to power x In all these examples the variable appears as an exponent of constants. Now we will discuss about the domain and range of exponential function. Domain and range of exponential function. f of x is equal to a multiplied by b raised to power x. This is the exponential function. Domain domain of exponential function is set of all real numbers range range of exponential function is set of all positive real numbers now graphs of uh, exponential function graph of exponential function always lies in the first and second quadrant when b is greater than 1 then the exponential growth as shown in figure number a and when the b lies between 0 and 1 i mean b, like b, b is greater than 0 and b is less than 1 so b is lies between 0 and 1 and then the exponential decay as shown in figure b so note that the graph of the exponential functions always lie in the first and the second quadrant for example the function y is equal to 2x 2 raised to power x 
so in figure y is equal to f of x is equal to 2 is to power x this is the exponential growth so here x is independent variable and y is a dependent variable for the values of x we obtained y in the form of order pairs these are the different points so this is the exponential function so this is the exponential growth when b is greater than 1 where b is equal to 2 so the graph of the exponential function is in the form of exponential growth as shown in figure thanks for watching this video so for more videos please like and share these videos and subscribe my channel mba mathematical society